welcome to a new declutter video. Today is going to be my primers as well as my setting sprays. I have them all lined up here and I am ready to declutter them. So if you are new to my declutters, I will have a playlist linked down below, but we are basically just going to go through my entire primer and setting spray collection. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, so I have two different bins set up. These are labeled because they're normally in a organizer that I do have, but I'm going to use my dark gray one here. This one's going to be for my keep pile. This one here is going to be for my declutter, and I'm going to just kind of start grabbing them and start decluttering them as we go. This right here is typically the bin that I keep them in. Honestly, you guys, I am way past the point of them being able to fit in there, so the goal is to be able to fit my entire setting spray and primer collection into this one bin, so that's what we're gonna try and accomplish. So I'm first gonna start with the ones I have here right in the front. So this is not really set up in any order. I kinda just started grabbing them and throwing them up here. This is a different layout than what I normally do, but I think that this is gonna work just fine. So at first I have from Wet n Wild. This is their Mega Glow um, setting spray. So this is their face mist. I didn't really love the um, spritzer on this one. I have other setting sprays that I really love from Wet n Wild, but for me this one wasn't my favorite. So I am going to put this one in my declutter pile. I'm not really gonna go in order with like setting sprays and primers. They're all kind of mixed in here, just so you guys know. But up next we have the Pores Be Gone primer. This one is from First Aid Beauty. I do really like this one. It's a great primer. I also feel like you get so much in here. You get 1.7 fluid ounces, which is a ton of product. I really do like this one. I feel like it does a lot for um, priming the skin and really just kind of mattifying those pores. Up next I'm gonna talk about my Farsali products. I have some more in my collection, but these two right here are the Skin Tune Blur and then also the Liquid Glass. I like both of these. I'm a big fan of the elixirs from First Sally. I am going to actually keep both of these because I use them a ton in my collection and I think that they are staples. So up next I have my Milk Blur Stick. So I do really love the original blur stick. You can tell I've used a ton in this product. The Luminous one though, I honestly don't really notice much of a difference between the two. I did a comparison video like way back when the Luminous one first came out. But for me, the Luminous one, like I said, just really doesn't do much. I don't notice much of a difference. So I'm going to keep the regular one and go ahead and declutter the Luminous. One of my favorite primers in my collection is the First Light Priming Filter. This one is from Becca. I really put a dent in mine. I think it's like way down here. Um, I really love this primer. I think it's great. I think it is really, really glowy on the skin. It looks nice and natural. You only need a small amount of this. It's one of my favorites that I do have. Next up, I have this one from Too Faced. This is their Hangover Replenishing Face primer. This one I'm not in love with. I know a lot of people really, really love this product. Along with the setting spray, I'll go through both of them. So I really just don't feel like these do much for me. I mean, they're okay, but they don't really do much for my skin in particular. I don't really notice much of a difference when I use the primer or the setting spray, so I'm actually going to declutter both of these. I have a few different primers here from Makeup Obsession that they did send over to me. So I have the blurring primer, and then this one is the pore blurring primer. So I actually didn't end up even opening this one here this one is the blurring primer so I'm actually gonna throw that in a giveaway for you guys because it's not even open so there's no sense to keep that one um, this one was the pore blurring primer and I honestly don't remember anything about this I know that I must not have loved it too much because I didn't go back into it uh, I'm probably just gonna declutter this one you guys because like I said if I don't even remember what it was like I don't need it in my collection this one here is a newer one to me this is the Ofra Rodeo Dry primer I've only tried this out a few times now but I do really like it it's a nice and glowy kind of radiant primer so I am going to keep this one in my collection okay so I just went out and I grabbed all of my fix pluses from Mac this one says it's the Smashbox primer water but I actually put fix plus in here I know I did that when I traveled I needed like a travel one Okay, so honestly, you guys, I'm keeping all of these. And the reason why is because I use Fix Plus probably daily in my makeup routine to not only spray my face, but I use it to spritz my brush and like make my shadows more opaque. I know this must seem a little bit extra to keep this many, but I honestly use it so much. Um, and it's something that I regularly purchase, regularly go through. So I think right now I'm pretty stocked. So I am actually gonna save all of these because I know that I will go through them. It'll just take me a minute. So another one that I actually have multiples of as well is these Urban Decay ones. So there are a few that are multiples. So I actually have an all-nighter and I have actually three all-nighters right here and then one of their chill makeup setting sprays. So the chill one is a little bit different than the all-nighter, but nevertheless, this is one of my favorite setting sprays that I do have. I would say the Fix Plus 
the Urban Decay and then the Morphe are like my favorites that I use the most regularly. So I am actually going to hold on to all of these as well. I do really like having travel sizes too and this one is the new scent that they came out with that I do really like. So I'm going to put all of these in my keep pile. And then, while well, I mentioned it, I am going to go ahead and keep the Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe because this is one of my favorite setting sprays ever. So I have a couple of different ones here from CoverGirl. I know I have a few other ones. Let's grab this one. I have a few other ones that I still need to grab from the other side. But these are some of their primers, and I do really like them. I think that they have good primers. I don't think I need to keep all of these. Uh, so we have the Skin Smoothing, the Moisturizing, Hydrating one, and then the Illuminating one. So for me, the Illuminating one I really like but I don't think that I use this one enough to keep it. Um, I'm more on the hydrating side, so I know I did really like the moisturizing hydrating one, but the smoothing, I don't know that I need to keep both of these. So let's see, oh, I did like the formula of this one though. It kind of reminded me of the one I like from Smashbox. Mm, I am gonna actually keep both of these. I'm gonna get rid of the luminous one. I have the makeup fixer from uh, Ofra, and this is one that I've had in my collection a very long time. I do like it. However, it's not my favorite. The reason it's not my favorite is because I don't really just love the packaging. I feel like it's very bulky. It's a big bottle. Um, the spritzer on it is nice, but I feel like I just, I don't know. I don't reach into this one. Uh, so I'm actually going to declutter it. And then from Makeup Obsession, I have the Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Mist. Again, I didn't notice anything in particular with this one. It was okay, but it's not anything that I need. I have those setting sprays that I go into so regularly. So I am going to pitch this one to my declutter. I, a product that I have here from Kula is their Sun Silk Drops. Now this is an SPF product that you can use like as a primer. Uh, Every time I have another primer from them and every time I use the two, I just feel like they do something weird with my makeup. Um, they kind of settle it in a weird way. I'm going to go through and declutter the other one as well, but I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one. From Lila B, I actually have their Aglow Face Mist. I have a travel size and then also a full size. I want to keep both of these. This is a really, really nice, just like glowy, glowy setting mist. I have these ones here from Tatcha that I actually want to talk about next. And I have this one here. It's unopened. So I think I'm actually going to get rid of the Tatcha ones because I feel like this Lila B one is just as good and I like the spritzer on it better. For some reason when I use the Tatcha ones, I feel like they leave like a white cast on my face and the Lila B one doesn't do that. So I am going to get rid of the Tatchas and I'm going to keep the Lila B. Up next, I have the setting spray from Physicians Formula. This is their Insta Ready setting spray. I like this one. I went through a decent amount of it. I like having a drugstore option as far as the setting spray because the ones that I've kept so far are high end. So I am going to keep this one in my collection. And then the next one I have here is from CoverGirl. This is their Lock It Up. And this one for me isn't my favorite. It's okay, but again, I don't notice like a huge difference when I use this. So I'm going to throw that in my declutter. So I have two here from Catrice. I do like keeping like I said affordable setting sprays in my collection in case I want to do like an affordable tutorial and such I don't think I need both of these though so for me I don't really go for necessarily mattifying setting sprays so I think I'm going to keep this one here this is the multi-talent one I feel like this one is just a little bit more hydrating and I'll declutter the matte one okay so I went ahead and moved the rest down so we can kind of go through the rest and that way it's not distracting with my foundations back there um so up next I have the blurring primer this one is from cover effects this one isn't my favorite I I don't really notice a huge difference when I use this one. It kind of balls up too on my skin, which I don't love. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm also going to get rid of this one here from Wet n Wild. This was a part of their, I can't remember the name of the collection, but it was like a collection that they had um, it was like a workout collection and they had a bunch of these little tiny primers here and this just collection for me was kind of a bit of a miss in a hole and I never reached for this one so I'm actually going to pass it along. I have this one from VDL. This is their Lumiere Primer Fresh and this one I've tried a few times and it's just, I get so picky with my primers because I have some that I just really love so much. This is kind of more of like a hydrating glowy primer and although it's pretty on the skin, I just feel like I have others that kind of do the same effect for me uh, that I don't find the need to keep this one in my collection because I have so many other ones, kind of like my Becca ones, my other ones that that kind of do the same hydrating like glowy look. So I am going to declutter. The Rosé All Day from Physicians Formula. This is one that actually really does give your skin a nice brightening effect. I do really like this one. I also like using it as a serum. So I am going to hold on to this one. From Pop Beauty, I have their 24 karat 
base face base so this one is actually one that you can use like as a primer or as a setting spray this one is a little bit too glittery for me you can kind of see in the particles like it has quite a bit of glitter which doesn't always bother me but sometimes I do notice it having like the little sparkles on my face which I don't prefer so I am going to pass this one to a friend the Smashbox photo finish primer water this is the one that I've had in my collection a long time and I forget to use it and I do like it this is just like a travel size version I need to just put it on my desk so I actually reach for it but it is one that I think is pretty good so I am going to keep it I just need to make sure that I use this one up so up next I have a few here from Smashbox so I have their photo finish radiance and then also their pore minimizing so these are actually just like little mini guys that I do have I also have my primerizer in here as well I guess I can show you guys that one at the same time the Smashbox primerizer is one of my favorite favorite primers ever I'm definitely going to keep this one and then as far as these two go I do like them um, again the radiance one I don't notice much of a difference with this one between my other radiance ones um, the pore minimizer one I do think is nice, so I think I'm going to keep this one and declutter the radiance one. So up next I have this CC Luminous Primer from Almay. really don't have a lot of products from Almay in my collection, but this one for me, it does have an SPF 15, but I feel like when I did use this one, it was a little bit slippery on my skin. I didn't feel like my foundation adhered very well to it, um, and I really don't, I don't know. There's something about Almay's products that I just don't always love. Um, I don't really have many in my collection that I do enjoy, so I am actually going to go ahead and get rid of this one. I have from Milk Makeup their Cooling um, Primer. This is just a little mini guy that I got. I think I got it as like a point perk or something like that. And I do like it. I don't feel like it's that great. Like I know a lot of people like rave about this and they say it's like their favorite. For me, it's just, like I said, it's okay. It's not something that I love. Um, because it is a mini though, I feel like I can use it up. There's not that much left in here. So, I mean, I'll use it up in my collection, but again, it's not one that I feel like I would repurchase. So when I was talking about drugstore setting sprays that I do really like, these ones from Wet n Wild are super good. So these are their Photo Focus um, 3-in-1 Base Fixers. These are so good. I love them. I have the Cucumber right here, and then I also have the Coconut. I'm going to save both of these because I do really, really like them. Okay, up next from Iconic London, I have their Prep Set Glows. So I actually have these in two different... Um, two different ones so actually when you mix them up this is kind of what they look like they do separate a little bit so this one here was a little bit deep for me and then this one is kind of more of one that would work for my skin tone I liked this one on my body but I don't think I need to keep both of them so I think I'm just going to hold on to the more like champagne one and then declutter this one to my friend because I know she'll really really like it this formula is really nice okay up next from Catrice I have their light correcting serum primer this one's one I've used quite a few times it is a hydrating primer but it also has a bit of radiance in it. I don't like it enough to keep it in my collection, but it is a nice affordable option if you're looking for something um, that is affordable. But I think I've kept quite a few affordable primers that I think I feel comfortable getting rid of this one. Okay, so up next I have the Baby Skin from Maybelline. This is almost gone. I'm like barely there. I have like maybe two more uses out of this. It's a really good alternative to the Benefit Professional, which is why I'm holding this one up. Uh, this used to be my holy grail like favorite primer and I still do like it. I feel like this one kind of does the same thing at the fraction of the cost. Um, I do want to keep both of my collection kind of just to compare them and like I said I'm about to run out of this one. But I think if you were looking for an alternative to the professional, definitely look into this Maybelline one. So I have this Neon Elixir from Kevin Aquan. I love this, but the packaging on it actually broke. It's a very hydrating, glowy serum. But the packaging on this one, it just it just doesn't work very well. Like you try to drop it out, it doesn't drop out. This actually like falls off all the time. For that, I'm actually going to get rid of it because it is so annoying when I go to use it. But the actual product inside is so pretty. I have seen a few other people talk about the packaging being wonky though. Uh, so I don't know if they can just maybe like redo the packaging on this because it's a really nice glowy product. It's just the packaging just makes me never want to reach for it. So this is from Shani Cosmetics. It's their hydrating foundation primer. This one is a silicone based primer, but it's one of those ones that I was talking about that kind of balls up on your skin. I really didn't like this one when I tried it. I don't know why I still have it in here, but I am going to declutter it. And this one actually makes me sad because I really, I love the Farsalia elixirs, but for some reason this one here, it has a very weird scent to it, like a very odd scent. I've tried to use it a few times. 
The smell just lingers though, and it's like a weird, I don't wanna say it's weird, but it's like a green color, and I just feel like it was kind of sticky on my skin. I just didn't love this one, and that makes me sad because I love all of my Farsali elixirs, but this one for me, I just didn't love, so I think I'm gonna give it to my friend and see if maybe she likes it a little bit more. And then from Urban Decay, I have their Urban Defense Complexion Primer. I don't remember anything bad about this one or anything great about it. I think it was just so-so. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead, I think, and declutter. From Adult 10, I have their Skin Reviving Setting Mist. I do really like this. It's very nice to prime your skin. It kind of reminds me of the Smashbox one as far as like giving your skin a nice hydration before you get started. I am going to keep that one. I also really like the Slay All Days. This is from Gerard Cosmetics. I really don't have a lot from the brands, but I went ahead and purchased these when everyone was talking about them. I do think it's a nice hydrating mist. I don't know that it does much for like locking in my makeup, but I think it's really nice for just like giving your face a nice spritz, hydrating it. So I am gonna keep that one. From Motive Cosmetics, I have their 10 Years Younger Makeup Mist. This one, again, I used to use in my collection when I had very few setting sprays, and I thought it was okay then, but now, like, putting it next to my other ones, I just... I don't know, I don't think it does anything special. So I really wanna crack down on these other setting sprays that I have right here. So let's go ahead and go through these. So I have the Sephora, this is a hydrating um, setting mist. I like this one again for prepping the face. This one's really nice for that. It has a nice coconut scent, so I do wanna keep that one. I have from Kiss Professional, this is their Photo Touch setting spray. This one I liked, and it's a nice affordable option. Mm trying to think which ones I want to keep. I think I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to get rid of both of these ones here. This is the Rimmel London one and also the Joa one. These are okay, but again, I don't really love my skin looking too matte, and these are mattifying primers. I think that these would work best if you deal with like oily skin. I don't typically deal with that, so for me, when I'm looking for a setting spray, I'm looking for something that's going to lock my makeup in but still be hydrating and not really too matte. So these for me just don't really work in my collection. So I'm gonna get rid of those two. I am gonna keep the one from Kiss. So I have the Crystal Power one here from Pacifica. This is a glowy one. This is a nice alternative if you're looking for a nice glowy one. And then also this one from Pixi. Both of these are pretty good and affordable. I think that they both work really well. From Eborian, I do have the Extra Matte Ultra Mattifying Primer. This is a shine control. Another thing that I think would work really well if you have very oily skin. For me, with me being a little bit more dry to normal, I don't notice a huge difference when I use this one, so I am going to get rid of that one. I'm going to keep this one here from Touch and Sozo. This is their Pour No More primers. When I look for primers, I look for something that's going to be hydrating and also kind of blur my pores. This one does both of those. Really, really enjoy this one. Up next from MAC, this one is called their Time Check Lotion, and this one is supposed to be like a lotion slash primer. This is way too thick. When you put this on underneath makeup, it just does not set nicely. Uh, I don't ever hear anyone talking about this one either, so I am going to declutter that. I have the Hyaluronic Hydrating Primer here from First Aid Beauty. This one goes along with that mattifying one that I had earlier, the pore filling one. I think that all of these are great. They also have their coconut one, I don't know why I don't have that in here. I have that in my collection, but I think that one's really good too, so I am going to keep this one. Really starting to wind down here, so I'm going to grab the last few. So we have from Wonder Beauty, this is their Glow Ahead Face Oil. This one is a nice glowy oil, so if you do like an oil, this one I do recommend. I'm going to keep that one. One that I don't really love, though, is the Maracuja Oil from Tarte. I know a lot of people love this one, but for me, I just never really saw much of a difference in my routine when I use this, so I am going to get rid of that one. I have from Wonder Beauty, their Glow Getter Mist. This one is nice, and I do like having products from each different brand, so I am going to keep that one because I do like a good glowy setting spray. This one from Origins, one of my favorites. This is their Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. I think it's such a good primer. I have to keep it like this, however, because I feel like when I don't, um, when I set it upright, it doesn't come out correctly, so that part bothers me, but I am going to keep it because I do really like this primer. Okay, and we are down to our final little primers and setting sprays here. So this one from NYX, this is our Honey Do Me Up. My friend loves this primer and I know so many people enjoy it. For me, I don't feel like it does anything great for my skin. Um, I've had this in my collection a long time now, I barely used it. 
So I'm going to give that to her because I know she likes it a lot more than I do. Uh, for this one is the Wonder Glow. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is an expensive primer, but it is very, very nice. It's a nice glowy primer. It looks great on the skin. It also looks great if you use it just like all over your skin on like a no makeup day. So I am going to keep that one. A couple more from First Alley that I do love is their Rose Gold Elixirs. This is one of my favorite oils in my collection. And then also the Unicorn Essence, one of my favorite primers. I talk about it all the time. Both of those I'm going to hold on to. From MAC, I have some of their strobe creams. So I have um, one in, I think, Pearl, or this is Gold Light. And then I also have this one here in Pink Light. So this is a product that I know a lot of people love. I think I'm going to get rid of the pink one, and I'm going to keep this one here just so I have it in my collection, the Gold Light. Um, I know a lot of people just adore these, but I just don't, I don't know, I don't love them. Uh... I'm gonna keep, like I said, the one, just so I have it in my collection, but I'm gonna get rid of the other one. I know I'm so bad. Uh, the Hydrating Mist here from Derma E. I have been really liking this one. Really great for setting your makeup and also really nice for kind of spritzing your skin before you start your makeup as well. This was the one I was talking about from Cool that has the SPF that I feel like every time I use this, it balls up. It looks not that natural on my skin. I don't like this one. So I am going to declutter that one. I have the Rose Gold Facial Mist here from Farsali. Mine needs to be shaken up. This is really, really nice, you guys. If you like a hydrating, glowy, glowy setting mist, this is so, so nice from Farsali. I'm going to keep that one. This one I do want to keep from uh, Kula. This one is their SPF 30. It's a makeup fixing mist that has SPF in it. I take this with me when I travel. I do like just kind of spritzing my face with this at the end of the day just to get a little extra SPF in there. All right, we are just going to get into our final primers right here. I can't believe we're almost done. I know I'm going to get rid of both of these ones here from MAC. I just don't really use these. They're little minis. I don't need those. I'm also going to get rid of this one here from Pure. This is the correcting primer. I know I don't really reach for that one. Um, this one here from Ciate, I actually do really like. It's their Watermelon Burst. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I'm going to keep this one. It's a nice hydrating primer. Both of these glowy ones here, I feel like I kept a ton of glowy primers. And at this point, I just need to be a little more cut through. So I'm going to get rid of this one from CoverGirl and also Yensa. This one from Neutrogena, this is their brightening primer. I really, really love this one along with this one from CoverGirl and also this one from Catrice. So I know I'm keeping all three of these. I think they're all three really good affordable options for primers. And then the last little group here, I do have like a travel, I think this I got this in like some sort of box or something, but it's a little Smashbox primer. I take this with me when I travel, so I am going to keep that one. Touch and Soul, I have their No Pore Blend. This is the Priming Water. This one is really nice. I like that one. Uh, from Luminous, I have their Violet Velvet Veil. This, I know I liked when I used it. Uh... I'm going to declutter it because I don't need it. <laughs> I'm trying to really go through these. Uh, from YSL, I have this one here. This is their Touched or Tote Eclos Primer. This is an expensive primer. It's really good. I do really like this one. Ugh. I'm going to keep it. And then I'm also going to keep this one from Tatcha. This is the Silk Canvas. I just, I don't love this one. I've used quite a bit of it. I don't love it, but it is so pricey. And I feel like I do want to use it up just because it's not really sanitary to give someone because you stick your fingers in there like that. So I am going to keep this one. And then this little guy from Benefit, just a little mini professional here. Uh, I can go ahead and declutter that one. All right, I know I really sped through those last ones, but my camera kept dying on me. So here is what we are looking like for the declutter. This one here is my keep file. So remember when I said I wanted to keep it all in that one bin? I don't know that that's going to happen. I kept so many Fix Pluses and so many more setting sprays than I wanted to. But honestly, you guys, with doing videos, I do like having a certain options. I feel like if I had just a regular makeup collection, that would be different. But I do try to like keep a lot of products so I can use them in videos or I can show them to you guys and different things like that. So that's why my collection is quite a bit larger than it needs to be. Uh, but this is my primer and setting sprays that I am keeping. And then over here are the ones we're decluttering. I mean, I feel pretty good about it. Like I got rid of quite a lot of products. I am glad to pass these along to some friends who I know will enjoy them and can get used out of them. So definitely let me know down below what products you guys want to see me declutter next. Don't forget to check out my declutter playlist as well. Give this one a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.